Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm very thankful that in a video that I produced more than one year ago um, about Zettelkasten method that um, paired with Evernote system uh, received quite a list of views on YouTube and um, very supportive comments from the audience. And I would like to mention that there are several tools that actually got um, mentioned by the community. One of them is from Fontelaroy Clifton Guitar. So um, the comment is about recommending using Obsidian instead of Evernote. So I delayed quite a bit to try Obsidian, but after reading this comment, I right away downloaded it. And uh, last month, I started experimenting with Obsidian and I realized, as said on the comment, it is absolutely recommendable to use Obsidian instead of Evernote. And, and today in this video, I'm going to introduce my Obsidian um, environment, it's not involving um, introducing how to set up and everything. I think this video is mainly for trying to inspire you um, how Obsidian can be used for taking research notes. So um, if you need later, um, I will produce another video about how to set it up and how to faster learn Obsidian as a beginner. But for this video, um, let's just focus on how um, you can use this environment to realize the Zettelkasten flow. So I would just demonstrate, um, because now it's recording my screen, so you will see exactly what I'm doing here. So um, let's just have a look first. I Let's say I have this project clear. Okay, this is my current research project. And I divided several, let's say, folders out of this project. The first one is the work diary. That is to write, let's say, what I did today, um, what kind of uh, inspiration um, related to my workflow, things like that. So it's basically you write it every time when you feel you need to archive your research activities. And the second one is the fleeting notes, as in the Zettelkasten system. Um, this is the kind of notes that can be abandoned right away after you move, organize them, move them into other types of notes. So the second folder is bio notes. That is basically a database of literature directly connected to my Zotello library, as you can show, you can see here. So the Clear project has an independent library folder here in my Zotello, and it is um, in the setup process linked to my Obsidian. So um, every time when I insert some literature, it can be directly synced with my Zotello. I will show you later. But for now, just understand this is where you insert the um, citation from uh, a record of citation from your Zotello library. And the third folder is reading notes. So that is basically um, for each for each paper or publication I read, um, I take several notes directly from it. And sometimes it's just summary uh, or reflection. Um, but not a permanent, permanent notes. Permanent notes is basically you actually summarize something that you take, the, you summarize the reading notes you, t you take that day to form one to two of one to three, let's say, um, very, very intense note, um, very distilled note from the reading notes that you took that day. Okay. So because in this clear project, my, my purpose is to develop some course design templates. So as you can see here, I have several templates already coming out from the reading notes. 
And I also have this to write folder to actually record what kind of research that I want to do as the next step. And it's not a it's not necessarily that it will be realized, but just to record some inspiration of ideas um, of writing in the future. And then um, I have theories and the concepts to record those encountered theories and the concepts mentioned by the literature. So I didn't migrate to my, um, I have a note yet, um, I didn't migrate the notes from my Evernote system to this system yet. So what you can see here only is um, based on the progress of my research project in, um, in clear. So another folder you need is pictures or attachment. So sometimes you needed to insert figure of some, some uh, explanation or flow maps. You will need to install the attachment here. And the templates that um so one the templates is basically for um, storing the template files that you can directly use to create new note based on um, which folder you you want to create note and into. So let's say for instance I have Sleepbox template which I used for both reading notes and the permanent notes. Well, to write template is for to write. So that's just as simple as that to begin. Now I'm going to quickly show you how is the workflow of using this system I just established. Okay, so the first task is I needed to, let's say I'm reading, um, let's go to the bio note and I'm, I'm, I'm using several hot keys for um, fast actions. Let's say, now I want to open a citation in Zotello and I know the title of it. Now I use Control Shift Open. Oh, sorry. Control Shift T. Oops. Control Alt T maybe, yeah. Oh, that is for the, oh, so I'm still very, not familiar with the environment, let's just use control P to look for the comment. So I always forgot this one. So open literature note, that's what I need, which is out and control out O. So control out O. So as you can see, um, after this hot key, you're going to get a search, um, a search bar with uh, a lot of uh, citation records under it. So Let's say I want to read this management education as an identity construction. So I'm going to add this, and you're going to see this is wrote by Altio. This is a, a template when setting up this environment. It directly um, pour the format of the citation into this new note. So as you can see that a new note has been created. It's called Altio. Uh, Management Education Identity 2008. Okay, that's the name of this um, 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 literature note. So now I have a record of this citation, this publication under my bio notes. Now I go to my reading note. Let's say I click this one. Now I want to create a new Zettelkasten note. So uh, the good thing about Obedient, Ob Ob Obsidian is that it has um, integrated uh, Zettel Custom creation function. So if I use the fast key control Z, you're going to see that we are now on an empty file with the file name as 2000-2021, that's the year, and 09-12. That is the, the day, 21, 15, that is the time. So they use this format to directly automatically name your file. And so this is the um, basically when you use the fast key of Zettel, creating a Zettel custom note, directly create an empty note for you in a new pen. pen okay. So um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, so I'm repeating myself. Um, what I'm going to do now is to insert a template into this empty note. So what I'm going to do is I use the hotkey of 
Mm, let me remember it again. So it's a bit tricky that you have to learn, get familiar about your hockey setting a little bit. So to insert a template, I'm going with Control L to T. Yeah. So it brings out all the template I have. I just need to select sleep box text. As you can see, copy all the content of that template into this space. So let's give it a title. Let's say um, this is about um, business education concept. So give it a title and then business education is a big concept. Let's say that is what I want to record for this note. You have some related notes. Let's say um, I use hockey control L to insert um, the link between notes. Let's say I want to connect this note to this one. Okay, so um, I want to comment it has a child note. So I'm just randomly um, calling um, I'm just randomly typing things under the title, um, but in a research activity, of course, it can be more um, creative. But for the sake of this demonstration, let's just go forward like this. Now I need to perhaps, perhaps insert um, the, the, the bio note, uh, so the, the citation I just inserted earlier, remember? So I'm going to use um, the command again to look for citation because I'm not very familiar with the command yet. So as you can see here, insert literature note link or insert markdown citation. You just select, for instance, control alt L. Let's try control alt L. Okay, that is to insert uh, existing um, citation into your um, note, but that's not what I want. I want to create. I want to create actually just a link to the to the notes in the bio note folder. So I'm gonna go with the control L. That's another link. So I'm gonna just select um this one right. Altio management education identity. So as you can see now, it is. Uh, um, linked to two two other notes. So if I want to, let's say, visit this another note linked to my current note, I just um, use the fast key of Control Alt O. Oh, sorry, wrong. Just use Control maybe Alt O. Oops. <laughs> let's go with Command again. Um, link. You can follow link under cursor. It's Control O. Yeah, or Shift O. So Control O. Shift O. Yeah. So Shift O works. It just bring out the um, the the related note in a new panel, and you can use Control um, Q to kill this. Um, to close that new new tab, I would say. So the same thing happened here. If I use Alt O, oh no, sorry, a Shift O, it will open this uh, related note. I use the Control Q to close it. So just you need to get familiar with the hockey, and uh, that that's it. Um, I just finished adding a reading note, and I show you um. You know different kind of short keys that you actually named for your um, for your system um, that you set up here. So um, I finished this note, really notes. Now I am moving to permanent notes. So again, you can also use Control N to create a new note and. You can also use a control Alt T to bring in the um, sleep box template. You type, type, type. And then let's say I want to remove this. I want to remove this current file um, from 
the permanent nodes to the ready nodes. What can I do? I can do Control U, and I can select the folder to ready node. Okay. So now I have this new node called Untitled moved from the permanent nodes to a ready nodes. So as you can see that this system actually is more convenient than the other nodes in several ways. One is that it's very easy to insert a link. Another um, thing is that it's, it can be directly connected to your Zotello. You don't need to manually do the work. Um, a, th a third thing that I quite like is, um, let's say this draft I just used earlier. Let's say I, I can actually control L, add a, a, a link to an existing node. And let's say I go to this link. I also add the untitled link to it. Okay, so now you can see that uh, in this note, it's linked to the um, untitled note I have. And in the untitled note, it's linked to this um, 20, 21, 0, 9, 12, 21, 15 file. Okay, so what if I change? I change the, um, let's go back here to the um, title. What if I actually change the untitled to rename my file? Okay, what will happen? So let's just close all this. Now we have this untitled rename into rename my file. And let's go to this related note. You see that from untitled to rename my file in the original files change has also been automatically updated here. So it's not the re related notes. It's not untitled, blah, blah anymore. It's rename my file as it was changed. So this is a very, very good um, function that I very much like it because in my previous Evernote system, if I change the name of uh, one file, it can be a headache sometimes to 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 change the whole um, association between nodes. So to quick quickly delete this one, I will say Control D. Yeah, that is delete. So another advantage of uh, Obsidian is that you can use many, many shortcuts to just control the whole interface with your keyboard. But as you can see in the whole process, if you don't remember the command, it can be a little bit tricky. But the good thing is always that's what I do so far. If I forget, forget uh, if I forgot a command to a uh, hotkey, I would just do control P and they bring out all the command list and I can just let's say click it and it will happen right away. Okay, so this is just a short demonstration to to show you um, my attempt to change to Obsidian and uh, some uh, um, workflow um, that I have been experimenting um, with Obsidian to take research notes. It's a bit rough so far, and you see I forgot a lot of things, especially the commands. Um, I'm still getting familiar to it, but I'm very excited about this environment. I believe it can help the researchers to take smart notes in a very, very smart way and efficient. And another, another thing I want to bring to your attention is, for instance, if you want to print it or output it as PDF. Oh, oh, another quick thing. So if you want to toggle between the preview and the edit mode, um, you can go with out, for instance, in my setting. In If I click, if I use a keyboard out plus zero, you see the difference. Okay, so you can toggle this uh, preview. And if you want to print it into PDF, let's say output as PDF, 
we can go let's say PDF. It's Control Nine in my setting. Control Nine. So you can see that. Click Export to PDF, and then you just you just download it. Boom, and it's there. So you can just open the open the file. That's it. Okay, so it's in in the in the folder you select it and you can see it's very clean and neat so i highly recommend using obsidian as an environment to take smart notes it has a lot of potential so um if you feel after um watching this video that you would like to learn more about obsidian um i will introduce um how i learn obsidian um quickly within one hour to to right away you know um, interact with the obsidian after the one hour lecture so it it's really not that difficult as i thought so that's good news to share with you um that would be all for today i i apologize for for all this mess i created from time to time in the presentation because uh, to, uh, to be honest, I'm also very new to Obsidian, but I'm very excited about uh, um, my further learning with it and interaction with it. So give it a try if you are inspired. Thank you very much.